This Dusk Proto tutorial is about lithophanes. I will skip the basic information. You can find that in the tutorial that shows how to create the flat lithophane that you are seeing right now. Today we will create a round lithophane with the same picture, a lamp shade for a small light. We will do so using the Desk Protocam software, a CNC milling machine with rotation axis and a piece of plastic pipe. Okay. Here we go. The first step in the process is of course to start the Desperado software. For this project we will need the multi-axis edition. The other two editions do not support the rotation axis so we can't use them here. And uh, in this project I will not be using the wizard. Instead I'll, I will start a bitmap project. As you can see, it's a project with a bitmap operation and it allows me to browse a bitmap file. I have this file prepared, doggy 90 degrees. As you can see, it's a dog and it has been rotated uh, 90 degrees around Z uh, in order for me to wrap it around a cylinder that will be aligned uh, with the X axis. Any color pictures will be automatically converted to black and white. So this nice dog, it's in fact my daughter's dog, uh, and we will project that on the lampshade. Okay, so next thing to do is to say that part is a rotation axis part. And as you can see, this proto will then nicely wrap it around the cylinder and the uh, actual Z values in the bitmap file have been set uh, to define a cylinder where the bitmap exactly fits around a complete cylinder. And you can change the bitmap Z values in order to make it a different cylinder. However, you, we will do this, this in a different way. I will uh, define my cylinder in a more uh, well visual way uh, using the part segment. However, we have a problem. In the part there is no segment uh, tab because there is no geometry loaded. So I will, as a workaround, I'll just load some dummy geometry, a small cube. One is, uh, it's present in your desperate samples. And here you see the cube and also a cylinder. And as you can see now, all segments are there. So in the segment I can define my cylinder. I've bought a piece of plastic pipe with a diameter of 70 millimeters. So I segment my segment to custom and I set the Z from 0 to 35, the radius of the plastic pipe and my piece of pipe is 100 millimeters long. Further for translate, I want to check, yes, the top of part is zero. So the zero point, the blue cube is zero position, is on the outside of my cylinder, which will make zero setting easier for this uh, lithophane. Well, I can do one more thing in the subjects. I can set my segment to translucent. And as you can see here, now we have a clear view of the segment, a piece of pipe, 100, uh, millimeter, 100 millimeters long. And here is my picture. Okay, the picture is too small, clearly. So I'll first make it larger. I go to the bitmap operation. I go to the bitmap settings. And here I say I want the picture to be 100 millimeters wide apply. Here we are. Uh, it, need, it needs to be shifted to the positive Z, to the positive X a bit. So I'll shift it 10 millimeters, uh, 10 millimeters along X. And here we are. Here is my picture on the cylinder of a correct size. Only the Z values are not yet correct. It floats above the cylinder. So I'll go back to these bitmap settings and now I go to the Z and here I am. Uh, the outside, uh, the black parts of the uh, dog picture need to be on the outside of the uh, cylinder and the white parts need to be the deepest in the lithophane. I will make them 
minus one. So the plastic of my pipe is one and a half millimeter thick. So when I go to minus one for white, the remaining plastic is only half a millimeter thick. So that rate, the plastic thickness will range from one and a half to a half. So here we are. I can here zoom in for you to see what happens. Here is my zero and the Z nicely ranges from uh, zero on the outside of the pipe to minus one. Okay, we've done all preparations for the picture and the geometry. The next thing are the uh, operation, uh, the, the cutter, etc. I want to use two operations, a ball nose cutter diameter two for roughing and next a smaller one, one for finishing. So I will call this one uh, roughing. I uh, want to use a two millimeter ball nose cutter, uh, a small uh, skin of say one tenth of a millimeter to be removed uh, while finishing. Layers are not needed for this uh, very shallow depth. Uh, parallel along X is okay. And for my precision, I put it on roughly half a millimeter. So that's my roughing. Calculate toolpath. Oh, that's very quick. And here you can see the toolpath that go deeper for white and higher for black. Okay. And that was a roughing operation. I'll copy that one to go to finishing. Yes. And in finishing, I obviously, obviously I do not want the skin. I want my toolpath in the other direction. So uh, here around A. And I want to use a smaller cutter, one millimeter diameter, and also obviously a better precision. So 10 toolpath in a millimeter. Okay, calculate toolpath here. Here we go again, zoom in a lot to see, see something. So these are the roughing toolpath and the, these are the finishing toolpath. Okay, well as a last step I can save the NC program file. I want to make two separate files because I have two cutters. First of all I I will save the roughing file. So pipe litho roughing. Oh, pipe. Yes, only the roughing operation. And the next one will be called pipe lithophane finishing, obviously. Um, so Finishing. Yes, only the visible one. Obviously, this is a longer file, so it takes a bit more time. And when these files are ready, we can proceed to the CNC milling machine.
Now we need to turn this pipe into a lamp shade. This can be done simply by adding a bottom plane. This extra part is machined from transparent plastic using Desperato's 2D machining option and then assembled using super glue. You can see the four extra holes to make hot airflow possible. Next, the plastic screw that came with the lamp is attached. And here is the result. The outside may look weird, but watch what happens when you switch on the light. It's amazing. A second lampshade showing two girls and used as a gift for their grandmother. It was an appreciated birthday present. Much value added to a PVC pipe that did cost only two and a half euros per meter. Desk Proto includes many more options. See the website for more information.